What's up guys, if you want cheap, fast, reliable AMT, make sure to hit up my sponsor and use code BUGS for 5% off checkout. Links down below in the description. Hit them up right now. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K21 My Team video. And guys, today we are going to go right into this locker code before we do get into the video. And yeah, man, then we're going to go over top snipe filters of the week, guys. So let's get into this code. This one is pretty, pretty solid, man. So let's type it in. You have a chance of getting some fire stuff and it already expired. Oh my goodness. So forget that. Let's just get right into the top snipe filters, man. This is, we're going to go over a lot of types of top snipe filters in the game. I'm going to show you my investments, how to make MT and whatnot. And uh, we'll pop one more pack before. And uh, of course, we get a ruby. So let's just get right into it, man. Nothing special in that pack. It's kind of upsetting. But yo, let's get into top snipe filters. So for my top snipe filters, man, as you guys can see, most of these cards are Amethyst 20s. Um, this is pretty much how I made most of my MT. This is where most of my MT comes from. Pretty much investments on Friday on Amethyst 20s. And uh, if you guys don't know, man, Amethyst 20 filter is probably your best bet. As you guys can see, Amethyst 20s are up big time already. Ooh, ooh, no, that's a huge snipe. Um, but yeah, Amethyst 20s, man, Kawhi's at the 28,500. I got it for 19,000 MT like 10 times. So right there, we're going to make at least 6 to 7K on each Kawhi Leonard. Every single time this happens, man, the auction goes up right away. So in my opinion... The best snipe filter in the game is by far Amethyst 20, man. It's going to make you the most MT. Um, if whoever sniped out that LeBron, the 22K LeBron, that is a big snipe. He's selling for 40,000 MT. He's going to make about 15,000 MT profit. So if you guys didn't know also, sniping right now, man, all these tips, man, I'm showing you. It's kind of affected by the auction house bug. There is a big issue with this auction house bug. It's really bad. So... If you do snipe, you do get frustrated. It's going to be because of the auction house bug, man. This LeBron is clearly gone for a couple minutes now. It's still going to be there. So that's probably one of the most annoying things in the game right now. So don't get frustrated. Just continue to snipe. Some stuff will pop up. Um, VC plug, man, if you guys do know him on Twitter, he ended up sniping uh, a Manu Ginobili for 500 MT and a Hakeem for 500 MT. So here's my, here's what I'm telling you guys right now. Patience is key. If you're not patient, you're not going to do good at sniping, okay? Next up, filter, Ruby. This filter is very easy, man. You just have to consistently refresh and I just hope something pops up for under this value, man. For some Rubies are going for 5K, some are going for 10K. Um, so it's completely up to you if you do want to snipe. Um, we're going to show you some other snipe filters, man. We're going to go over to Diamond Shoe Filter because this Diamond Shoe Filter, shout out Oko Dre, um, this diamond shoe filter really did go up in value, man. This diamond shoe filter is kind of crazy. And he did snipe out a lot of KDPEs for the low. And they're going for around 60,000 MT. And it's kind of crazy if you do think about it. So me, I actually have enabled on because I did buy out a lot of these shoes. So pretty much every cheap Nike shoe, might as well just go buy. Um, I accidentally sold my, I sold my Kobe XIs for 18K. It seems like they're even more in value on the 21K. So I didn't lose that much. But what you want to look for here is the Kevin Durant's, man. The Kevin Durant PEs. They are so expensive. Maybe even the Air Force Maxes. Those are pretty expensive as well. But I'm going to try to show you the KDs. Uh, there it is. KD, 31,000 MT. This actually might be Hoko Dre's. They're going for around 34, 31. The Kyrie's are pretty expensive as well. Uh, Kobe's are pretty expensive, so KD's are going for around 30,000 MT. That's pretty crazy. So if I were you, definitely try out the snipe filter. And if you do snipe out the KD's, bro, you could literally try sniping that all day. You most likely will get a ton of snipes. 27K right there for the KD. So there's definitely a lot going on in this filter. I would try to recommend it. Next up, man, we got coaches. Um, where is it? Coach cards, man. Diamond coaches and some playbooks as well. I would recommend the Pistons playbook or the Mavericks, I think it is. Uh, but yeah, diamond coaches, man. They're going for so much MT. If you could get your hands on one of them for cheap. Um, like I should, Mike Bunholder was going for like 18K the other day. He's up to 32,000 MT. And coaches are a big thing in this game. Some diamond coaches, I think, uh, what's his name? Nick Nurse is going for like 60K or something like that. Like some coaches aren't even on here. And it's crazy because I haven't seen, I pulled a lot of packs. I didn't see any diamond coaches yet. So 
You can snipe out them. You can snipe out Amethyst coaches. That's definitely a good method. Next up, Diamond Filter. Um, like I said, man, Diamond Filter is somewhat very competitive. But here's the thing with the Diamond Filter that's actually good. You have to be patient. But when you're patient and you actually snipe a Diamond for the low, you're going to make lots of MT. Also, here's another tip. If you're on PS4, it is a lot easier to snipe. There are more my team players on PS4. So... That's why investing on Xbox is a lot easier than PS4. That's one tip I'm going to tell you guys. So as you guys can see, man, Alonzo Morning Diamond, he's a beast. And he's going for already under 50 something thousand MT. So that's a huge W. Um, there's a couple other snipe filters, man. If you want to make quicker profit because you're not patient, man, Sapphire filter is most likely going to be the one for you. This one requires no help whatsoever. It's just straight sniping, straight pop. Oh, that's a snipe. And it's gone. 1200 for Ben Simmons is key, man. That Ben Simmons card, almost everybody used that card. I could have made a thousand MT clean in one second. But yo, right now, if I were you, definitely try sniping out Sapphires. If you don't have that much MT, you could literally flip them in seconds, make a lot of MT that way. Same with Ruby, same with Amethyst. Ooh, and that one's gone too. Uh, like, see, if I stayed on that Ruby filter for a little bit longer, I would make about 3K off that Paul George snipe. Not only that, man, we also do have an Amethyst filter, okay? This filter is kind of ruined by Luis Scola. Not only is he ruined, but half of these cards that you're about to see were bought out already. So it's kind of frustrating. Like, this card's bought out, this card's bought out. So whenever 2K actually fixes the market, it would kind of be nice because almost every one of these cards are bought out. This one actually isn't bought out. I'm going to buy a couple I think he's going to be worth the investment. I think he goes up to 10K. So if you do the math, I'm going to buy a couple for 7,500. Okay. I think his price goes up to 10K. He has a pretty solid three point shot. He's a stretch power forward. He isn't the fastest, but honestly, realistically, I think his price definitely does go up in value. And last but not least, we have the pink diamond filter, man. The other day, Mario Ginobili was going for 100,000 MT buyout. And what was going for 75k MT buyout? And me, I didn't have anything. I invested every single bit of MT into investments. So, yeah. Pretty much it, man. These are the best snipe filters in the game. Me, in my personal opinion, Amethyst 20, best snipe filter in the game, period. Okay? It's going to be the easiest way to make MT that way. But, yo, other than that, that's really all we got. There's just a lot of snipe filters you guys should know in this video. And that's really it, man. Um, But... Other than that, hope you guys did enjoy. Good luck on sniping. Let me know if you do get anything down in the comments below. And yeah, that's all we got. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one. Peace.